بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا بكم أعزائي طلاب مدارس المناهج الأهلية الصف الأول الثانوي في درس جديد من دروس التعلم عن بعد في مادة اللغة الإنجليزية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my dear students? I hope you all in a good health and, and good condition Today we will complete our lesson for B page, your student book page 51. We will start with vocabulary, verbs and propositions. Verbs here like the verb talk, verb like talk. Talk here, to talk, to speak to, okay, like this. She's talking. I talk with my friends at school. There is a missing here. Here, I can use to. I talk to my friends at school. Also, I can say I talk with my friends at school. Talk to or talk with. Can I use at here? I talk at my friends at school. No. The verb here, the verb talk here, doesn't take at. It can take to or with. Okay? Also, I can also, I can say talk about. When I talk about something, I'm talking about it. I'm, for example, when I say I talk about the homework which we took at school yesterday. So, talk to, talk about, and talk with. Here, to, with, about are prepositions. Talk is a verb. Now, look at the verbs in the box and use some of them to complete the sentences. Here I highlight, these are the verbs. These are the verbs. Work, smile, smile at someone. Talk, talk to or talk with someone to talk about something. When you talk to your friends about the latest video games, Laugh, laugh at, like ha 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 ha, laugh at, here, G-H is F, laugh, laugh at someone or something, laugh at, with a smile, but here with a sound, with a voice, loud voice, look, smile at, laugh at, forget, when you don't remember something or someone, forget about someone, forget about something. You didn't remember her or you didn't remember him. Invite. You ask someone to come to your house. To uh, invite. Invite to. Okay, I invited my friends to my house. To the party. To come to my house. Wait. Wait for. When you wait for. Wait here for someone. You don't go without someone. When you wait for something, it means you don't do anything except the thing will happen to you. Introduce. Introduce means present. I introduce my brother to my friend. Lie. Lie to when you don't tell the truth. Lie. Lie to someone about something. You lied to me about the book. You didn't tell me who took it. Argue. Argue with when you angry with someone, okay? Argue with someone about something. We are arguing about the one who took the puck. He said that he took it, didn't took it, but he took it. Now, let's use these verbs to fill in the blanks. To make it easier, I used the highlighting to these sentences and I highlighted the propositions here. Let's Ali to our house for dinner next or a day. The proposition here is to that we can't we use a smile, we can't use laugh, forget and so on. So to my house or to our house so we use invite invite here. The answer here is invite. Okay. Number two Number two, you should, you should to pull 
for being rude. Rude here isn't a good manner, isn't a good behavior here. So rude is in an impolite way. So I use here apologize. You should say sorry for him. It's not polite to not polite here means rude. It is rude to space at people when they fall down. It's rude to laugh at people, laugh at people. Four, don't about the appointment, it's at 8.30. Appointment here is arranging for time. Okay, so not like an appointment with your doctor. So you say, don't forget. Please remember here, you can stay for Dr. Saud in his surgery. He's on his way. Surgery here in British English is a place where a doctor or a dentist can give you treatment. You can wait for the doctor. Yeah, wait. He's a surgeon in the surgery. It's a place here. Sam didn't want to base his family about where he was. We use lie. He wasn't at school. He wasn't in friend, friends out, okay, with his friend out, so he wants to lie. Okay. My sister always with, with each other about the housework. My sister's Nobody wants to wash the dishes, wants to clean, nobody wants to do it, so all the time they are arguing, so my sister always argue about, okay, argue about here means discuss in a hard way. Okay, the second part is reported speech. We will complete our lesson which we started in the last session. Reported speech, which is called also in direct speech. Okay, direct speech, first, what is direct speech? In direct speech, we repeat the exact words that someone said. We usually, or we usually, okay, use the verb say. And the words of the speaker are put in quotation marks, like this. Omar said, Tony is on the phone. Tommy, Tony is on the phone. Here. These are the exact words, okay? They are, they are between quotations. These are quotations, okay? Or quotation marks. Report speech. Report speech. In report speech, we report the meaning of what someone already said, okay? But I report to someone who doesn't know what was said by another one. So I report to him. I tell him. Retell him. Okay? We use reporting verbs like say, I exchange it into said. But when I find said to, I exchange it in told. So I use say and tell, as we know in the next slides. Followed by the verb that. I contact, I use as a link the verb, as the word that, okay, which can be omitted. Omitted here means which we, I, I can't or I don't, if I want, I don't want to use it, it doesn't matter to use it or not. For example, Omar said that, this is a report speech, Tony was on the way. Okay, let's go now to report speech. First, we will start with the statements. Here in the report speech, we will listen to, a, we will learn how to exchange the direct speech into report speech. Number one is statements. Number two, we will talk about questions. And the third one, commands and requests. We will start with statements. In statements, we exchange the pronouns and the possessive adjectives. For example, when I find the end, that direct speech, I or you, I exchange it into he or she. We, you, into they. My, your, into his or her. The next slide. Tense exchange or changes. 
I change the tenses. In direct speech, if I have present symbol, I exchange it into past symbol. For example, when he says, she said it's called here, this is direct between quotations here, okay, direct sentence. I exchange into report speech, the tense here is is, present symbol. I say, she said it was called here, I used said, it, and instead of using is, I exchange it from present to past was. Number two, when I, I find the present progressive like I'm teaching, he is teaching, we are teaching, I exchange it, I exchange it into past progressive like she said I'm teaching English online. She said she was here, I omitted that, also I can use here that, she said that she was teaching from present progressive into past progressive. The third one here, present perfect symbol, like have done, has done. Also past symbol, past symbol, past symbol here like went, played, cooked, wrote, and so on, and so on. I exchange them into past perfect symbol. For example, the first one is present perfect. She said, I have been, have been, present perfect. When I exchange it into in direct sentence, I say, she said, she had been, have been here, into had been, past perfect simple. He said to me, we studied, studied here, past simple tense. When I exchange it into indirect, indirect sentence or reporting sentence, I say, he told, why did you use told here? Because here, said to, here I have an object. Said to me, said to his father, said to the teacher, said to use or exchange it into told. He told me that they had stopped. Also, when we exchange some uh, or exchange some other dire indirect speech from indirect speech, like well, I exchange well into what, like in this example, she said, I will teach English online tomorrow. I exchange it to what she said she would teach English online. Can in code, she said I can teach English online. She said she could teach English online. Must into had to. Must into had to. She said I must have a computer to teach English online. She said she had to have a computer to teach English online. May into might, like in this example, she said, May I open a new browser? She asked, because it's a question here, she asked if she might open a new browser. May into might. The next slide. There are some words which I exchange them from direct into, into indirect or reported speech, like now, then today or tonight, into that day or that night, here, into there, this, into that, yesterday, into the day before or the previous day, tomorrow, into the following day or the next day, okay? Example. This is a direct speech, okay? I want to exchange it into report speech. I went to the park last night, he said. He went, the tense here is, past symbol tense, and as we said, when we exchange past symbol tense, I exchange it into past perfect tense, like this, had gone, okay? I, I'll, I'll exchange I also, when he say, he said that, he said in the original sentence I, I is exchanged into he. I exchange the pronouns, okay? He said that he had gone to the theater that night. Here he said last night, the night before, the night before. Also, I can say the previous night. Number two, she said to me, I'm staying here until next week, okay? Sit two. I'll exchange it to here into told, don't forget that said, 
will remain like x here, but c2 exchange x in tall because there is an object here. The tense here of the original sentence is I'm staying is present progressive. I exchange it into past progressive like here. She told me that she was staying there until the following week. The next week is exchanged into the following week. Okay, coming to the next example. We play. Play here is present simple tense. Play. We play tennis every day, he said. So I say, he said, not told here because there is no an object here. He said that, I, I connect using, I link using that here. He said that they played, I exchanged the present symbol into past symbol that he, sorry, that they play. The fourth example, Ahmed said to his dad, said to, Okay, so to not said. There is an object here, so said to is told in reported speech. Ahmed said to his dad, I have one present, yes, present perfect. Yeah, you are right. I exchange the present perfect into, yeah, who can say best perfect? You're right. Thank you. So he said, Ahmed told his dad that he had one, had one present, uh, sorry, best perfect. Symbol tense. The next slide, okay, we will go to the reported speech questions. How can we exchange questions from direct into indirect? In direct question or in the direct sentence or direct question, like he said, where is she going? In direct question, he asked because I'm talking about a question here, so I use asked, not told, not said. I use asked, he asked, okay, and uh, the quotations are omitted. We delete the quotations, and of course, we delete them. So he says, he asked where, the same WH word here, where she was going, because it's a present symbol, I exchange the present symbol here, the present symbol, sorry, the present progressive here, is exchanged into past progressive. What are the changes in questions? Look at these rules well. Number one, we use the verb ask, like here, ask in reported questions. Two, the reported questions follow the word order in affirmative sentence. Here, he said, is she, but in the reported question, I said, she was. First, we will start with the pronoun, the subject pronoun, then the verb, okay? This is the meaning of the order of affirmative sentence. Not a question. Number three, the question mark. What will happen to the question mark is omitted, is deleted in reported speech. Look here to the next slide. Example, uh, sorry, we will start with Yes, no question. As you know that there are two kinds of questions, two sorts of questions, two types of questions. The first one, yes, no, which starts in an auxiliary verb or the helping verb, like can, do, does, could, may, might, shall, should, and so on, like this one. In this kind of questions, like can you pass me the salt, she asked, I use, she asked, as we said before, but here I don't have WH word. I don't have what, where, when. I don't have any WH word. So I use, I link using if or whether. Either au lau. Sawa'an either au lau. She asked me. He said me lau. Au either. She asked me if I can hear is exchanged into code. She asked me if or whether. I could pass here, not me. In the in the sentence, in the original sentence, me is changed into is changed into here. Okay, number two. Is anyone here? He asked. He asked if because here I started with is yes, no question. He asked if or whether anyone was there. Did you hear? I I, I answer using yes or no. So I say. Did you enjoy dinner? He asked. In the reported speech, I use, he asked me if I 
had enjoyed. Why did you use had enjoyed here? Because did. Did he refer to past simple tense? And as we said before in the rules, which we talked about before in the previous slides, that did and the past symbol is exchanged into past perfect simple tense. Look at the next slide. WH word, a WH questions. WH questions here, the questions, the questions which start with what, where, when, who, why, which, how, and so on. Look at this. Here, the, the main difference here is that instead of using every whether like in yes, no, in yes, no questions, I use the same WH word as a link here. What, why here, where here. Look, number one. What are you doing? He asked, he asked me, what? Don't say, are you? No, I say, what I? Here is present progressive, here past progressive. He asked me what I was doing. Affirmative form, affirmative form. Number two, why did he come back? As we said before, did he refer to, yes, who can tell me? Yes, you are right. Did he refer to past simple tense? So he said, she asked him. She asked him why he had come. Best perfect symbol. Okay? My dad asked, where do you meet your friends? Do he refer to present simple tense? My dad asked me. Here, he said, ask it me, and I used where as a link. Where I, present symbol, into past symbol. Where I, you hear, I, okay? Where I met my friends, okay? I exchanged the pronouns. I exchanged the tense, okay, and used asked, and used the WH word here as a link. Okay, go to the next exercise, or the next slide. In the next slide, we talk about commands, commands here, awamir, requests, talabat, in report speech. Commands here like, stand up, go, go, go out, okay, do your homework, study well, come in here, okay, these are commands. Requests like, don't, don't do that, please, don't eat in class, please, these are requests, okay. We commonly use tell when we rubber report commands. When we report commands, allow emir, report them. I use tell. I use told. Okay, the best of tell. I use told here, and ask when we report requests, as in these examples. Number one, he said, "Get your coat, Tom. Get your coat, Tom." Is it a request or a command? Yeah, you are right. It's a command here. Get your cut. Do your homework. Study your lessons. Switch off the TV and so on. Or turn off the TV and so on. Okay. So, in the request, in the command here, I use told, as we said here. He told Tom to get his cut. To get. To do. To play. To study. To sleep early. To study his lessons well. And so on. Don't take this way, please, his sister said. Here, don't talk, and please, it's request here. Request, yeah. Don't take this way, please. His sister asked him. The comments we use, ask. He, his sister asked him not to, because here it's a negative form. Not to take that way. Not to play in the street. Not to stay late at night, okay? Now go to this exercise in your student book. Exercise for practice. Complete the sentences with report speech. Number one, what are you eating? Jeremy asked. Jeremy asked me. This is a question, WH question. So I will say, Jeremy asked me what I was eating. Are you eating a present progressive? Was eating a past progressive? Number two, please let me borrow your jacket. Faye said to her sister. 
they ask your sister what kind of sentence is there is that okay this is what is it what this okay this is a request yeah you are you are right it's a request here so Faye asked her sister to let her borrow her jacket stop right there the police officer said to the man okay this sentence is a command because he started with inventive here stop the police officer told the man yeah you are right to to stop right there do you do you need any help it's a question here but what kind of question wh question no yes no question starts with do my sister asked me if or whether yeah if i needed any help do present symbol here i don't use do again but i change the verb into best symbol tense don't uh, don't open that window Hussein said to the children. Hussein told the children not to. Yeah, yeah, it's request here. Not to open that window. The last one, why did you come back so soon? Okay, did ask me. Did ask me. Me, yeah. Why? Here he said did. So I changed the past symbol did into past perfect tense. Why I had come back so so, goodbye for now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the teacher of the Manahid and the Ahliyah. We have already been with you the for B, Grammar and Vocab. We are happy to answer your questions and answer your questions on the official channel in the group of WhatsApp and Telegram. Your training is continuing with you. Don't be afraid.